Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with the Wi-Fi battle versus Jebediah. I found him on Twitter. Now, at Team Preview, my Azumarill, which is Belly Drum, can break through my opponent's team. I do have to weaken Keldeo to about 50%. I have to weaken Zygar to about 70%. I do recognize this team. It is Obi's team, um, a very popular team that I've used and played versus a lot. My team is actually a team that was built with Flaming Victini, or by Flaming Victini rather, which I helped him test a lot. And uh, after a bunch of testing, we ended up going with Expert Belt Greninja, which I feel is so good in this metagame because a lot of ways that uh, bulkier teams like my opponents deal with this mom is by wearing it down with life orb and pressuring it with something like scarf keldeo or banded zygarde's extreme speed so my game plan going into this game is pressure my opponent with my expert belt greninja uh and weaken his keldeo weaken his zygarde to the point of belly drum ozu even weaken zapdos so he leads off a of mega scissor i lead off a of Feramosa. i like Feramosa as a lead because it gave me the best lead matchup versus keldeo since it is scarf on my opponent's team as well as giving me Ice Beam for Zygarde. Now I am Choice Scarf Feramosa. Um, I don't care too much for it in this game since he has Amoongus and Physically Defensive Zapdos to pivot around from and uh, he has two forms of priority being Scissor's Bullet Punch and Zygarde's Extreme Speed. So my Feramosa is pretty much fodder in this game which is why I go right for the U-turn. Um, on the scissor that way I can get that you turn out into my lander She actually went for bullet punch Which is a lot better for me because even though I took a ton of damage What I'm able to do is weaken him with that get up my rocks and even weaken him with my um, Rocky helmet uh, putting the scissor again in range of Azu now. He's gonna go out to Caldeo This is a giant threat. This is a giant threat to the team. I know it's scarf Caldeo I do have Greninja in the back and uh, I actually end up going out in, uh, hard into Greninja right here because if my opponent wants to throw off a Surf or Scald, it's actually Surf on this build, but he does reveal the Scald, which is weaker. I actually like Surf a lot better since it 2 it KOs Lele always. But I go right out to Greninja, expecting him to want to go for the water move since my team doesn't really have a water resist outside of Greninja. And what I can do is just throw off an extra sensory. I am Expert Belt Greninja. And it's so good because, like I said, a lot of, um, a lot of the fatter teams... Their main way of dealing with Greninja is wearing it down with Life Orb. It also bluffs Choice Scarf right here, as you can see, as I am able to switch it up into the Hidden Power Fire, and I can get rid of Scizor, and that is my opponent's Defogger. The Zapdos is three attacks, Roost, uh, and Scizor was the Defogger, and now my rocks, or whatever hazards I end up getting up, are here to stay. So he goes right back onto Keldeo. I'm, I'm paying careful attention to that spike, or that Stealth Rock damage. Not a spike, not yet, not just yet. That little spike ain't up yet. But I'm paying careful attention to that Stealth Rock damage, because again, I'm going for game with Azu in the back. Plus six Azu, Normalian Z, Belly Drum, Azu can wreck my opponent's team. So I decide to uh, sack my Feramosa, because that gives me a switch right back out to my Greninja. He locks himself in the Scald. Again, Feramosa wasn't gonna be doing too much. And right here, I decide, okay, he's definitely gonna switch out. Caldeo is his one answer to really not losing to my Greninja. So I'm gonna throw up a little spike. And again, this little spike is so crucial. This is probably the only prediction I made all game. Whereas, I, I, I it wasn't even a risk because he couldn't knock me out with Skull, but he could knock me out with it after... I went for the spike, but I got that little spike, and again, that's so crucial because every single time Keldeo comes in, every single time Zygar comes in, which is Adamant Choice Bandit, what I do is I weaken it to the point of knocking it out with plus six Aqua Jet. Again, plus six Aqua Jet from Oz is doing about 50 something percent to Keldeo, it's doing about 70 percent ish to Choice Band Zygarde. So I go directly into my Muck, knowing that my opponent would not want his uh, Zapdos to get knocked off, as that means it can't really switch into Lando as well, um, or even tank a hit later from Azu Finit. So I go for Pursuit, and again, that's just to put it in range of the plus six Aqua Jet. Uh, plus six Aqua Jet to Fizz Dev Zapdos, which he was, does about 50 something, per um, excuse me, 66% minimum. So I wanna make sure he's always coming in at half or under half. I even get the poison touch, which I don't think matters too much in a sense, but Amoyas is gonna come out, and I am a salt vest muck. I don't want to knock him out or knock him off though, because again, I want my plus six Azu to have a full power knockoff versus my opponent. So I decided to go for poison jab. Also knowing that Muck is pretty much the most expendable member to go asleep, it is Assault Vest, so most of his special attackers aren't going to be dealing with me anyway, and being asleep means his Skull can't burn me. So I decided to stay in right here because there's no point in not burning off the, um, the guaranteed always turn of sleep right here as he can't touch me and eventually I could just wake up and spam poison jab so he goes on to Zygarde which was a good play because it does force me into my lanterns but he pulls a double now it was a good play uh, predicting my lanterns to want to come out but at the same time 
I was always, always, always going Landorus there. So if had he went for 1,000 arrows, he would have weakened my Landorus just a bit. Maybe for Zygarde in the late game. Whereas if Keldeo comes out, I'm never staying with Landorus. Landorus always comes in on Zygarde. I have the HP Ice. I have the Intimidate. I know he's Adamant Choice banned. So I'm going to go right back out on the Muck again, being asleep. Can't burn me with a Scald. He's going to throw off a Scald, uh, which is, you know, smart. Again, being able to burn anything like your Ninja up on Switch would be great. But I decided to stay in right here because my only goal is to click Pursuit versus Caldeo. I don't care if he switches. I don't care if he stays in. Pursuit 100% puts him in range of plus six Aqua Jet. So I will go for it. It actually turns out I end up waking up here. He does switch out on the turn. I go for Pursuit. And that is the damage that I need. On The game is being set up. I'm working the game in a way that Azu can come in. So you know, imagine I don't get Azu off in this game. <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys, though, that... If you play a specific way, if you have a game plan, if you follow through throughout the entire game, you can win and you know how it goes off. So he goes on to his uh, Z-Move Heat Ram, which I know it's Bloom Doom. I'm going to go for Knockoff here. I don't need Muck anymore, but being able to weaken Heat Ram to the point of um, extra sensory from Greninja not having to risk Hydro Pump is great. It's just giving me a cleaner win if possible. So I go for a second Knockoff. He goes for an Earth Power, followed up with a Magma Storm just to knock me out. Magma Storm uh, ended up hitting a Pokemon like uh, Lantern Spawn Switching, though I would never risk Lantern at that point. And after the two knockoffs, he is in range of my Greninja's Extra Sensory. And the thing is, he has Caldeo at the back, he has Zapdos, he has Zygarde. Caldeo goes down, Amoongus goes down, Zapdos goes down, and Zygarde doesn't appreciate the spikes plus Extra Sensory. So, gonna be able to knock out the Heat Ran again, proving that Extra Bug Greninja is so good in this. I loved it in testing when I was using it versus uh, FV, Flaming Victini, because you you can't wear it down. You don't wear it down if you're a fatter team. You just It's weaker, yes, but when you have Spike, when you have Stealth Arc up, that does not matter. So I'm going to go directly into my Landers right here. Had he predicted me and went for the 1,000 arrows, it would have been a good play, though after Intimidate, it would have done about 30-something percent, I want to say. So either way, Landers is still my pivot into this Mon. He ends up going for the Extreme Speed. I guess at that point, he was so threatened by Greninja, he had to go over the E-Speed, which is kind of... Fair, though, it did give my Mawile in the back a plus two, um, which could also sweep my opponent's team. And again, we're going to keep up momentum. We're going to pressure my opponent with Greninja because that's the entire game plan. That's the entire way I'm going to play this game. So I go for U-Turn. Even if he went for Extreme Speed, he would. I know he's locked into it, and you also take Rocky Helmet damage plus U-Turn damage. I can U-Turn right out to my Greninja, and Spikes are up. Stealth Rock are up. Caldeo is in range. Zapdos is in range. Zygarde is in range. So he has no choice but to stay in with his Among Us. And this one is busted, okay? Extra, uh, Protein Greninja is busted. Um, by the way, if you didn't watch the Greninja video I did with Blunder, a little tip, make sure all your Greninjas are always male. Make sure they're male because uh, Battle Bond Greninja has to be male. And uh, that's the best way just to bluff it. Like, you don't know what type of Greninja I am. And again, I also mentioned earlier, I love, I love, I love, I love Extra Belt because it bluffs the Scarf, which is helping me get rid of Scizor earlier. But he's going to go out into his Caldeon now. Revenge came up with the Hydro Pump, which is a fair play because it does keep my Mawile from going for SD. But I do have my Azumarill. I'm actually going to go for the Z Belly Drum here because... Damage from Adamant Zygarde's Extreme Speed is 40 to 47%. So if I do go for a regular Belly Drum, I am uh, in that range of being KO'd. So I go for the Z Belly Drum because uh, Z Belly Drum is so cool, but since it heals you all the way up, back up to full, before taking the 50% from you to get the plus 6 attack. And Azu's so good in a sense because it, as long as you can live a hit, as long as you can live any one hit, you will get off a belly drum with this mon. So we're going to go right for that belly drum with my Azu. And at this point, Fizz Def Zapdos has taken Rock's damage. It doesn't matter. Again, min damage was 66% to Fizz Def Zapdos, to his Zapdos in particular. So I can go right for the Aqua Jet, knock that guy out. He's also pressure, not static. Um... The reason Obi made it that is because it helps out versus stall better, whereas Static actually could have been scary because if it got full paired, uh, I could have potentially lost my Azu to this Zygarde, though that didn't matter because at the end of the day, the game was mine 100%. Because let's say Zygarde crit me with this extreme speed, knocked me out, I go right out to Landorus, his last is Caldeo and this Zygarde, I click Earthquake, I knock out either Caldeo or Zygarde, if he switches out into Caldeo that dies and goes back on the Zygarde and clicks 1000 arrows, either way, I do have Mawa on the back to click Sucker Punch, which would be able to knock out Caldeo at the percentage it was after Spikes, but does not get the crit, I'm able to knock out the Aqua Jet, Caldeo is going to come out, I'm going to pick that off with an Aqua Jet, and that is going to be a good game, so I really do hope you guys enjoyed this game, I feel like 
I played to my game plan at Team Preview really, really well, and I wanted to teach, you know, I wanted to show that. Basically, my opponent, I noticed a weakness to Azu, I broke through his Team Weaker Ninja, and got the damage I needed. But like I said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Feel free, of course, to leave a like. You can check out the Beast Boost merchandise. That is linked down below, available for two more days, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.